around four years and to get a national seed and have the opportunity to play in front of our home fans and if we're lucky enough to play in our home fans the weekend after that, it's, it's, it's a big honor. So, I'm excited. Did, does all that sort of help just to race the previous three days? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, there's still a little bit bitter taste in our mouth, but as Coach said, everyone's 0-0 now, and those those games don't matter. We're a national seed, and looking forward to playing Austin P. Were you surprised when the number five came up, or did you think you'd still be a national seed? I thought we'd be a national seed, too, still. I, I thought we were going to be one of the lower ones, like seven, so I was happy with the five we got. What did you think when Fullerton came up? It's awesome. <laughs> it's pretty much, sorry. I think it's pretty funny how uh, they matched up with Coach Horton and Coach Kirby and all the guys he knows from coaching, and it's going to be fun. How do you guys approach this week? Uh, we're going to approach playing Austin P first, and I think just have a good week of practice and get after it and get back and have, have some more confidence and not worry about what happened last weekend and look forward to playing on Friday. They were talking on the broadcast about what the teams do with their number one starter. Are you expecting to pitch against Austin P or wait until game two? I'm expecting to pitch. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what the plan is with the coaches yet, but I'm expecting to pitch on Fridays. What sort of factors do you like about your team heading into the postseason? Uh, I mean, we're a scrappy team and we have the toughness. I mean, we've been on the road against all, I think, well, we beat UCLA on the road, beat Stanford on the road, beat Arizona on the road. I think, I mean, if we could the mental toughness into our region, I think we'll be all right. Coach mentioned you guys leaving everything on the field in Corvallis, everything for the past three days. It's easy to say that. Mm -hmm. Are you actually able to do that? Yeah, I think now. I mean, now. If, it's over. We have a national seed, and I mean, we're, everyone's zero and zero. And I mean, we're looking forward to getting this practice tomorrow and get back on the field and there's excited little, again. There's a little kind of, a little some clapping when OSU was announced going to LSU. What was that? Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, that's, LSU's a tough place to play. I mean, all 11,000, 12,000 fans and yelling at you and screaming at you, and I think it's it's a tough place to play and. Corvallis is a tough place to play too, so their, their fans get a little bit of uh, Oregon State. So. Did you design those? No. Alright, let's start. I guess what's your reaction to playing Cal State Fullerton, having them in your regional? That's uh, sweet. I mean, I grew up down around there, and brother played for coach when he was over there, so it'll be a cool experience. You grew up being their bat boy. Are things kind of coming full circle? I wasn't the bat boy. Oh, that was pain. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I've I've been around that program a whole lot, so it'll be uh, interesting to be on the field with them. Horton, the irony of your coach coming back and everyone clapped. At what point during the selection show did you guys think this was a possibility? Was there a point where you're thinking, "Oh man, the Bulls are going to be"? Uh, yeah, once once they finished with the first half, I thought uh, it was a possibility, and I, I texted my brother. Uh, Looks like Fullerton might be up here or something like that, and uh, it, it happened. What do you think about it in terms of your coach, for your coach? Obviously, you've always wanted to play for him, and you kind of follow his deal. This happening to him in his career four years after making him move, five years after making him move. Um, I'm sure he's, it's like he said, probably a bittersweet. Uh, he's probably happy to have uh, Hookie and Kirby up here again and playing against them. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't a good draw in regards to teams he's been with before, so uh, we'll see what happens. Darren, what uh, factors do you like about your team heading into the postseason? Uh, coming off this weekend, I feel like we, uh, we'll, we've, we'll grow a lot from what happened and uh, kind of learn from it all. Mm -hmm. uh, like Coach said, we're leaving it in Corvallis, but we're going to learn from what happened there, too. How big has been your team's ability um, to be able to bounce back from injuries and, and losses been to, to where you guys are at now? Huge. I mean, uh, that's something our team does real well. Our coach will, any of the coaches, coaching staff will say something needs to be fixed and it'll be fixed right away. So that's a, that's a big uh, part of our team is change, definitely. Are you surprised with your number five national team? Um, a little bit after this weekend, but I feel like the, the work before that, I feel like we earned it. Uh, what do you think the mood is of the team is right now after last weekend with getting that national seed? I definitely lifted our spirits a little bit after uh, getting the sweep. Uh, just just got to keep playing and hopefully come out. You woke up this morning, did you think you guys were going to get a national seed? Um, 
Personally, yeah, I did just because of our work before this weekend. I mean, I, I feel like that could be a, a big turning point if we, with the sweep, if we didn't get the national seat, I don't think that that was uh, that would have been real fair just because of one weekend. But that's why I don't do the polls. There was a point in there when OSU was announced going to LSU. There was some clapping, some kind mm -hmm. of moving. What was that about? Uh, just going down to play LSU and they'll get to hear some of their fans after this weekend and see see what happens down there. Coach mentioned you guys leaving everything for the past three days up in Goss State. It's easy to say that. Are you guys able to do that? Yeah, I think so, definitely. I mean, this is our record's 0-0, just like everyone else now, and we got to take it from there. Postseason baseball certainly ramps things up. Does the heartbeat change? Does it stay the same? I mean, you've been through it, but now we get a whole different feeling, but just a, just a different mentality a little bit from knowing yeah. it could be it. It could be it, and uh, I mean, I'm sure that Coach was talking about that. He can't just say it's just another game because it's not. There's that'd be a lie. So you just gotta find your way to uh, calm your nerves and play your game. When you made the decision to come here and kind of leave faith to come to this program, is this what you envisioned? Did you expect it to happen this quick? Yeah, definitely. With Coach up here and uh, his staff that he can get from wherever he wants, and uh, it definitely. <coughs> What's your reaction to the seeding that you guys got today? I was pumped. I mean, national seed, and it's what we worked all year for, so I'm pretty excited about it. What did you expect when we woke up this morning? Do you think you guys were going to get in the seed? I, I really had no idea what to expect. I was hoping. I mean, I don't really know how the seeding and everything works, so I'm just glad we got one. Fullerton's coming here. The irony is, is crazy. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what was your reaction when you saw that? Uh, excited. I mean, I know Coach Kirby was here all three years I've been here except this year. And I mean, just excited, looking forward to the challenge. Is it tough playing uh, teams that were not, you knew weren't going to be on the schedule you know, earlier in the year and teams that you're not necessarily familiar with? Uh, Does that add a new element? I don't, I don't think it really matters as much for the players. I think we just kind of go out and play our game. And the co that's the coach's job to worry about. They're going to get the scouting reports on everyone. And, They'll tell us what we need to know. Coach said yesterday that he thought the dugout was a little bit too pumped up over the weekend in Corvallis. Is that a concern going into another big weekend? Uh, no, I mean, this this weekend we weren't ourselves, and I think it's only that last weekend's only going to help us. We're going to learn from it and know what we did wrong. So I think it's going to benefit us in the long run. Coach said you guys are leaving everything for the past three days at Goss Stadium. That's obviously easy to talk about, easy to say, but are you guys, is this team, is this group actually able to do that and forget about the past three days? Yeah, I think we're gonna I think we're able to do that. And I think we have to do that because I mean it's it's postseason. I think this last weekend just showed us that if if we're not able to step up to the task and play under pressure that we're gonna have this. We're gonna have a bad feeling out in right field, and it's gonna be us saying bye to each other for the end of the year. So, I think we have a lot to play for. How when you step outside and you kind of look at the whole, the big picture of things when you're getting recruited, the program's just starting, and you guys get into the postseason. Now you're competing for a conference championship, your national seed, you're home here for about two weeks, and you keep winning. Can you step back and just kind of look at that from where you guys were to where you're at now? Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to do that right now, but. It's, it's pretty amazing if, if you think about what Coach Horton's done and with all the help he's got from everyone. And it's, it's pretty amazing that he's gotten this program where it is right now in just a short four years. When Oregon State was announced and there was going to LSU, there was some hooting, some clapping. What, what was that about? What was your reaction to the Beavers going to LSU? Uh, it's, it's interesting. I mean, they're 2C, they're a great team. and I think, uh, I think they'll be fine in that regional. JJ, you, you and this team have gone through some highs and some lows. And for you, you know, I still see you slide into first base. And then, you know, we don't know how much your season and the team scrambling. You've had highs and lows. <laughs> what has that brought you and this team this year going through what you've had to go through? I think it just shows our toughness. And that's that's been our thing all year. We're a tough team. We're, we grind. And it just shows that if one guy goes down, that it doesn't matter. Someone can just step right in. And you won't even know someone's out. Pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't know he'd be in there. So pretty sweet. How about his new role? Is it excitement? Is it surprise that you're a number five seed after this past weekend? I don't think it's a surprise. You know, I, we really didn't know where we stood after this weekend. So I think we were excited at where we ended up, and you know, honored to be there. But I think we still had a lot of work to do.
you guys have been here before, kind of, being on the road, I mean, it's certainly an advantage to be at home. Yes, definitely. I've never been in playoffs before. Uh, this was the year they played uh, Kentucky, uh, Connecticut the year before I got here, so I haven't been in that, that atmosphere yet, so I'm very excited to be able to experience that, especially at home. Yeah, you've been in postseason baseball in your life. I mean, yes. The heartbeat kind of changes a little bit. Oh, a little bit, yeah, definitely. So I think we're excited to be able to channel that, you know, channel that into a better focus and make us a better baseball team. Do you think that last weekend gives you guys a chance to refocus? I think so, but I don't think we should have sweep make us refocus. We should be able to be a good enough team to be able to do it, you know, just as we need to. And, you know, I think we're going to come out here and practice hard and get back to where we need to be to get our minds ready for a regional play. Cal State Fullerton is coming. The irony is crazy. What are your thoughts and your feelings for your coach going into this situation? I haven't really thought much about Cal State Fullerton. We still have Austin Pay in front of us. You know, we open up with them on Friday. So, you know, we, we got to win one game at a time. And we can't look past any one team, especially in regional play and playoffs. When Fullerton was announced it's coming up here, though, just you guys, maybe you don't even play them in the region, but they're still coming to you, Gene. What, what do you think about that Coach Horton's old team five years after we left? I think it'll be a great challenge. They're a great baseball team, great coaches. You know, they have Coach uh, Vanderhoek, Coach Kirby, uh, so a lot of history there. So I think it'll be a good competition. You know, very well known coaches, and they have a lot of relationships between each other. So it'll be fun. When you decided to come here, you were one of you know, a few guys that kind of made a leap of faith. Everyone was coming to this program, has, and now you're here. Is this what you envisioned when you decided to come? Yes. Uh, this quickly. 100. percent You know, our coach Horton, you know, very strong talker, very confident man, and definitely had the resume to back up everything he says. And you know, this is definitely what we were looking for when I committed here and when I came here. And it's exciting that I'm able to be a part of it. You guys, uh, Horton said, you guys left everything on the field. To so everything for the past three years was left up in Fort Dallas. Are you actually able to do that as opposed to just saying that? Is this a group that, that can do that? Can it's easier that? said than done, but I think we found a way to get, move past it, and I think tomorrow when we get together as a team and practice and stuff, we'll be able to refocus and get back to where we need to be with our mindset and stuff like that and find a way to get back to duck baseball this weekend.